Following the indigenization wave of 1986, the landscape of tin mining underwent a seismic shift, giving rise to a new generation of small-scale operators. Currently, artisanal and small-scale miners ASMs, account for over 70% of the Nigeria mining landscape, but they contribute only a fraction in terms of revenue to the nation, largely due to their informal operations and the associated challenges. Yet. With this shift came a host of challenges as artisanal miners toiled in the shadows of illegality with no reward for labor and safety disregarded. Their daily production and yearly production amounts to millions of naira, billions. So if you take that and you translate it into maybe what should come to the state as revenue, then you expect it will be more than what we are seeing. Officials of the United Nations Development Program UNDP and the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission RMEFC visited some mining sites to engage with locals and what the real situation is. In response to these challenges, the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission in partnership with the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs Nigeria, the European Union, the United Nations Development Programme, through the Integrated National Financing Framework Phase 2 Programme, embarked on a groundbreaking initiative to transform the artisanal and small-scale mining sector to improve both government's revenues and miners' well-being. is willing to do everything possible for us to put the mining sector where it truly ought to be. We are making efforts at the ministry to formalize this group of uh, operators. Three months following the pilot formalization, the level of productivity of the ASMs working together as different groups has increased. According to some of the ASMs, with the machines and equipment at their disposal, their level of productivity has increased from an average of 70 kilograms of ore won prior the formalization to 130 kilograms of ore in a week afterwards. I want to thank them for the incentive they present to us. I want to assure them we're going to use it. With this gesture, they're going to graduate into even you know, bigger operators in the sector. visits to the Lagos State Division of the Nigerian Customs Service. Our courts are already in line, so we're going to sit down, see what their recommendations are and how we can incorporate them into the bill. We will continue to monitor them, not only in Plateau State, but we will expand the program with the support of the UNDP and other agencies to make sure that this thing is duplicated nationwide. 